In the last episode of Ron Sailing, we hauled Ron in Grenada Marine to do some work on the hard. There we met Peter from Denmark, who invited us to come and sail with him and Privateer, a Nauter Swan 60 for Christmas. And of course we said yes. When the boats were back in the water again, we left Grenada Marine to sail north to St. Vincent and the Grenadines. How does it feel to be out at sea again? It's fantastic to be back on the sea again. Yeah. After a long summer on the hard Grenada Marine. Now we've got some water on our keel and on our way to the Grenadines. And she's doing well so far, the boat? And then uh, we'll see, once we get free of the islands here, there will be a lot more wind uh, and some waves, but uh, we'll be okay. Privateer had a new carbon mainsail, and Yuan prepared to hoist it so we could try it out for the first time. Even if Peter and we are from different countries, we speak our own languages and understand each other well. It's pretty cool. We're beating in 25 knots of wind and we're doing 10 knots and this is uh, how it is down below in a swan 60 in those conditions the waves are quite high but it's dead calm down here it's so quiet it's almost unreal <laughs> that it can be like this down below in 25 knots of wind when you're beating so just listen to this Amazing, huh? Just north of Grenada, there's an active underwater volcano. Kikem Jenny has had many eruptions during the years. And when that happens, the water loses its density, which makes everything in that area to disappear. Therefore, it's a restricted area and it's prohibited to sail over it. But since we're privateers, we did it anyway. Our first stop in the Grenadines, 
was in Chatham Bay on Union Island, 40 nautical miles from Grenada Marine. Hey baby! <laughs> Doing some boat work. <laughs> Even on a swan. Even big boats need some work. Yeah. Immigration and customs are fine in Clifton, so we got a ride by Seki, one of the restaurants zone on the beach, to go and do the check-in procedure. The government won't do anything with this road until they, they have some investors to buy yeah. the property, to buy the land. Yeah. You know, it's like 100 acres of land down yeah. here belongs to the government. Yeah. That's sad. Yeah, okay. Close it up here. Come and go over soon, yeah. There is no real road to Chatham Bay, and you can only go there with an off-road car. Steady, steady, steady. <laughs> Good. Yeah, and you have today the cheese over here, you have my own. Small. Yeah, small like we didn't get much footage from the check in due to a pretty strict officer who also gave us a moral speech about how bad alcohol is because of the two liter of rum we declared. And we found these air plants in the woods. So I'm gonna see if it will survive on the boat. I'm making a focaccia bread with uh, dry yeast, since we don't have any fresh. And it's going great. <laughs> yeah. So we go ashore? Yeah, hmm? we can do that. Hmm? Uh, this bay is really lovely, there's some smaller restaurants here on the beach and uh, yeah, it's really lush and green, really lovely cliffs with yeah, rainforest up here and a lot of uh, pelicans fishing in the bay here. So if the sun comes out this afternoon we will go diving on the other side here behind the privateer, the boat we're sailing on now. So nice here. Yeah, we're just enjoying life. Way to bakery because 
I need to see a doctor. As you can see, there is a lot of blood here because I got one of the, I got the biggest hatch uh, right, that fell right on my big toe. So the toe just snapped like yeah. that. Yeah, so I guess just, it hurts a lot, huh? Yeah, we just lift the anchor and uh, we decided to go directly to Bekwi so I can see a doctor there. And we have uh, 35 knots of wind outside. We just and we're closed hauled. Closed hauled, uh, only Genoa, but going we're doing up, 10 knots. Doing 10 knots of speed anyway. <laughs> Big waves. Not a good day, huh? Yeah. And it just it yeah. won't stop bleeding, so I bleed. there's blood in the bed, and now we just put a towel on the yeah and a the bag. <laughs> and a bag. <laughs> oh shit! Ugh. Yeah, but just just stay here and rest, and we will try to take you to Bekwi. It's about 50 nautical miles left, so we'll be there in one and a half hour. Yeah, yeah. Uh. Alright, Malin, try to rest some now, huh? Dr. Danny was from Sri Lanka, and now he had his own clinic on the island. He quickly saw that the toe needed stitches, but first he was going to give me anesthetic. Yes, we had, uh, we had something for lunch. He gave me three injections because I was in so much pain, and that was the most painful injections I've ever had. The toe was almost cut right off, and the bone was fractured. I did an exam because oh. I didn't anesthetize them. He removed the nail so he could use that area for the stitches. And after seven stitches, Dr. Danny was done and he told us that it can take up to six weeks for the fracture to be healed. Feeling better. Yeah, but the toe is better now. Yeah. Stay tuned for the next episode of Brown Sailing. We spend Christmas in Bigway, get a second opinion on the injury by our Swiss friend, and then sail to Tobago Keys. Thumbs up, subscribe and share. Thank you. Tack så mycket.